Millions in China tune into this television game show every week. It's like a spelling bee, but these young contestants must write Chinese characters by hand. Every stroke, every dash must be in the correct spot. After two tense rounds, this 17-year-old is bumped from the contest. I wanted to compete before I was too old, she told me. Contestants typically spend months studying dictionaries to prepare for the show, but they're an exception. All over the country, Chinese people are forgetting how to write their own language without computerized help. There's no Chinese alphabet. Instead, each word is represented by a symbol or a character. There's more than 85,000 of them. But the smartphones and computers used every day here have eliminated the need to remember how to write many of those characters. The result? It's possible to recognize characters without remembering how to write them. How serious is China's so-called character amnesia? We conducted a little exam of our own. This man struggled with the character for thumb. Others had a tough time writing toad. Easy to spell in English, but tricky to master in Chinese. And no one could write this famously difficult word, sneeze. But there's still hope for the humble paintbrush. China's education ministry wants children to spend more time learning how to write. At this Beijing public school, students practice their calligraphy every day inside a special classroom. Teachers and kids are remembering how to write together. It's common even for teachers like me to forget certain words. On warm days, practice takes place outdoors. A lesson, the school's teachers say, not just in learning to write, but in a busy, changing China, learning to slow down, preserving Chinese traditional culture before it disappears.